Day five. It's been raining. It's been raining much of the night. Oh man, I look like hell. Whatever. Uh, so anyways, to help me keep things dry, I stash much of my gear underneath the canoe or it's inside my tent. And for breakfast this morning, I'm underneath a white cedar. It gives me a little relief from the rain. Let me show you what I'm having for breakfast this morning, which is the same as every morning. It is <clears throat> oatmeal with apples, bacon, and coffee. It's amazing. I get a little bit of coffee in me, and I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. From this point forward, every day is going to have a Couch Skinner story. Now, for those of you that don't know Couch Skinner, that is a business my wife and I run. We get unwanted couches, skin them, clean them, and turn them into your favorite leather goods, couches, bags, wallets, and so on. The first story I'd like to share with you comes from Northeast Minneapolis. Whenever I pick up a couch, 70 so far, I always try to get the story. I journal each one of these. And this particular couch was a Valentine's Day red. And she was telling me that the first time he ever told her that he loved her was on this couch. When he proposed to her, it was on this couch. So obviously very special to her. When she found out what we were going to do to her couch, she was overjoyed. <laughs> Here's a little fish story. I'm trolling along the shoreline here. Snag a fish, start to pull him in. I have 10 pound test. He got close to the boat and he said, uh -uh. and he snapped my line just like that. I need to be more patient. A little game I like to play with myself is to find a really cool place to have lunch. And today I'm on top of Lake Saginaw. Look at the size of this guy. Where are you? Come on. Give me another jump. He's got some strength. Come on. fish. He snapped my line. Second one today. I'm starting to run out of tackle. Fishing at sunset. It's beautiful. Can you see that? <sighs> well, there's tomorrow. 